hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is victoria and i am a nigerian youtuber based in italy and today's topic i want to talk about some of the mistakes women make in marriage that men don't like so join me as i continue this topic okay before our topic is um, some of the mistakes women make in marriage the reason i decided to talk about this topic was that um, before i got married i spoke to some of my uncles i spoke to some of my aunties husband i was like what are these women do in marriage that um, most of you don't like and the things they told me i was like wow and most of these things some women don't even know that they are doing these things some might know and still don't really care about what is happening so but today i decided to make this video so that um if you are making some of this mistake maybe you can um, just change because it's not a good thing so and um i wrote some of the things on my book so in case you see me looking down just know that i am trying to read what uh, what i wrote down okay so the first thing i wrote down is disrespecting your husband yeah the number the number one thing i want to talk about is disrespecting your husband sometimes most women don't even know you are disrespecting your husband some might be like oh wow it's my husband disrespecting your husband is um sometimes you guys might be having um some argument or you might be disagreeing about something don't raise your voice on him don't walk out on him men don't like it when you raise your voice at them they don't like it if you want to make a point just say it in a calm way say it in a nice way for them to be able to understand you you don't necessarily have to shout on top of your voice to make a point no if you're shouting nobody's going to understand you nobody wants to even give you a listening ear so disrespecting your husband is not a good thing so if you're among those ladies that those women that are fond of or they are to them is something that more is my husband i can do anything i like no men most of the men i spoke to in the past before i got married they don't like it when women disrespect them don't disrespect your husband he's your husband respect him yeah so i don't want to talk much about that so the second thing i talked about i want to talk about is um disrespecting your husband in front of your family yeah this one a lot of women do this and most of them might not even know that they are doing this sometimes you um you might for those of us that, that are here in abroad um your family might call you and even ask of your husband and you might be like oh that one in danger like the way you talk about your husband in front of your family it's not a you don't talk good about your husband you're always bringing your husband down in front of your family it's not a good thing men have spoken in past married men i've spoken to so most of my uncle i i talked to about this um this um topic most of them are not really happy because some women do this thing and they might not even know that they are doing something that is very wrong you don't talk bad about your husband to your family because the way you present your husband that is the way your family people are going to respect him if you disrespect your husband in front of your family people your family people they are also going to disrespect your husband too all right it is how you present your husband to them that is how they are also going to respect him so please don't disrespect your husband in front of your family it is not a good thing if you're among these people that do this thing stop it is not advisable don't do it again if you are watching me and you are not yet married don't do this thing you might be seeing women doing this thing and you might be like oh it's not man no unlearn these things these are not the things you need to learn if you are planning to get married soon all right so the third thing i want to talk about is sending money home yeah when i say sending money home sending money to your parents or sending money back home i'm talking about those of us that are here in um overseas i noticed that um a lot of women send money back home without um without involving their husband 
for like i don't know how to put it when you send money home without informing your husband yes the money might be your money you might be the one working for it or it might be the money your husband has given you for your upkeep and all that maybe you save it and you want to send it to your parents or to your family it's not a good thing for you to send that money without your husband knowing i believe if you want to send money it's advisable to send the money informing your husband carry your husband along let him know that okay this is the money i want to send to my mom let him know everything men don't like it when you send money behind their back they don't like it they get to find out and once they find out it's not they will not be happy they might not really have issue with you but deep down in their mind they are not happy that you are sending back money home to your parents or to your families or to your friends without letting them know it is not a good thing this this um this uh this sending back money the reason why i'm talking about this thing over and over i know people that are doing it here yes i know people that are doing it here and their husbands are not really happy with it most of them have not spoken to their husband they even feel that maybe their husband does not even know but their husband know most of these men knows that you send money back home without involving them without informing them and they don't like it i want to tell you guys about um there was one lady i met online when i was selling um juice plus products so i met her online on facebook and um we became a little bit close then she one day she called me then that day i just came back from work and she called me I'm like um there's something she won't tell me about i'm like okay what is this she was like can she send some money to my post pay for me to be able to send it to her family back home then i'm like uh what, why 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 do you want to send it to me can't you send it to your family um by yourself she said oh no that she does not want her husband to know that she does that she doesn't like her husband to know that she's sending money back home and all those things and i'm like wow i told her that this thing you're doing is not good if you want to send money home it is very important to carry your husband along let him know see no man would you tell that you want to send money to your parents or you want to send money home he's that is going to say no don't send money except that man does not have the money if he has the money he would definitely allow you to send that money he's going to give you to send for like what i said the money might be your own money you say ah after raise my money i'm sending to my family let him know because at the end of the day it is both of you that you are in the marriage don't allow family to cause problem between you and your husband so what am i saying about that lady i was i was helping her to send the money i noticed that it was something she was not doing every month sometimes she sent me 1000 euro to send sometimes she sent me 500 to send to her i was like one day i just called her and said i don't think i can be able to send you this thing one one is that you don't know me you have not seen me before we met through juice plus i sold the product to you since then you started sending me money to send to your family i just it was just something i felt that in my spirit i was doing it just to make her happy but i knew that it was something that i don't i'm not happy doing i just had to tell her that please after this one i will not want to send again for you because my mind is not and I was not happy that I was I was doing something that the husband is not aware. So mean he said her husband is away now. I can be doing that. I'm like, thank God it was two of them that that know about the money that I'm sending back home. But the husband was not aware. I just had to like let go. So please, if you want to send money home to your family, to your friends, involve your husband. Let him know. Okay. A good man will never say no. They will always let you send that money to your family. For those of you that are not in um that for those of you that are not here even those who are in africa if you want to give your people maybe you want to go and see your people you want to um and give them some money let your husband know that babe i'm going to visit my mom at the village i'm going to visit my mom or my parents i'm going to be giving them this um, amount of money let him know men are happy when you carry them along so that's what i want to say about that then the other thing is um okay the number 14 i want to say is some of the friends you might keep might come and tell you that oh hmm, kiki if you see what my husband did for me hey my husband bought me heaven and hurt my husband has already bought our ticket for this holiday summer holiday is already here hmm, we are going to um, we are going to germany from germany we'll go to paris from paris we are going to switzerland like hey we are, we are going on a holiday my husband also bought me iphone 13 pro Max. hey latest phone you too you not carry it on your head your husband came back from work you did not even give him food you did not attend to him you're already angry 
bone in your face he might ask you ah, baby this one your face is like what happened you know say hey, my man goes he called me and said that the husband have already booked ticket for them for for their holiday they are going to paris they are going to this place they're going to that place from here they'll stop to this place all these things they are telling you are just lies most of these things are lies because if you go to their house that summer time they will not go anywhere they are not going to travel but these are the things they just want to put confusion in your head just so that you'll be having issues you choose with your husband and men don't like it don't go and say because of what somebody told you do not put it on your head and your husband just came back from work instead of you to attend to that man take care of him you just went on and you are fighting him you are cursing him you are abusing him you are saying hey, is it not your mates that bought that bought tickets now they are going to nigeria this year we will be here for many years we've not traveled back home this and that one eh, i don't have george in the house and eh, mama Ketchi said that her husband all those things are rubbish let me tell you if you are a woman and if if you know that these are the things you do men don't like it when you now start fighting them because of something that they are unnecessary if your husband have money i know they will definitely get this thing to you communicate that to them they'll get it to you if there's anything you need you say it with a calm voice if there, if there's a way you are going to pet this man we have women i used to say it women we have power the important thing you need to know is when and how to use this power if you know when and how to use this power you'll be able to collect everything without even fighting or nobody will even hear your voice there are ways you use so you you will you will penetrate this man and anything you 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 say be just be respectful don't be don't be harsh don't don't start nagging men don't like it when you nag you understand say it in a calm way and they will definitely grant you that your request so don't go on and on and hey this person is doing this hey, that person is this my husband is not doing anything for me don't do it it's not something I spoke to some people, some of my uncle, and these are the things they don't like. So please, if you're among this set of people, don't do it. Men don't like it when you start nagging because of what someone told you, or when you start accusing them, or when you start talking to them in a, in a way that that is not good because of what someone told you outside you don't know if it's truth you don't know if, if that person is even lying you don't know most of this most of most of the time they'll come and say ha when your husband do it like this you do they you do your husband too like this is a lie they're not doing it at home they are not these are most of them when their husband coughs they can't even say anything they will go you see that they'll go and hide but they will come to your place and start confusing your head don't allow anybody to use you don't allow anybody to to confuse you it's not a good thing okay so the last thing i want to talk about is um being a supportive wife yeah men love it when their wife are very supportive when i say supportive there's any um anything maybe your husband come and say oh, babe there's this money i want to send back home to my parents i want to i want them to use it for this and that don't start and say hey no don't send the money oh. we what we got what are we going to eat no encourage him support him say don't worry this is a good thing send money back home let them use it and do it don't always be on their way whenever they want to do something good for the family or for for don't any project don't don't be that wife that you always want to 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 be against everything no be that wife that be be very supportive like whenever he comes and say oh this is the project i want us to do this year this and this bring ideas that you might even know most of these things okay let's do it like this let's do it like this always contribute be supportive learn how to learn how to um embrace him when he comes with these um uh, when he comes with new informations there are some things he might want to do at home learn how to accommodate it don't say no don't kick against it you don't need to kick against everything men don't like it if you are doing like that they will stop telling you things if you are the first person they'll tell when they want to um, achieve something you'll be the last person to know about it even before you are going to know self that he has already done it don't don't do it don't do it yeah, I just remember something while I was talking. Yes, I know this. If you are women that I see these things and it's happening, for those of us that are here, I know it is not a good thing if you want to build a house. You are doing it behind your husband's back. No. If you want to build a house, let him know. He's going to even give you ideas. He's a man. He's going to give you how you're going to do it. Don't go. Don't go. I don't know how to say this. Don't do things. Always carry your husband along. In short, carry him along. There's anything you want to do back home. There's anything you want to do back home. It is. It is. It is a different case when you when you already done these things before you got married. But once you're married to him, be open to him. You understand me. 
let him know whatever you are doing don't go at his back and you are not building um, a bungalow building all those things without him knowing no man will be happy to know that their wife that they are living with in the same house is doing this thing behind their back so please all i want to say is carry this man along please he's your husband carry this man along if there's anything you want to do be open to him have conversation conversation is important in marriage and maybe in my next video or some other time i'm also going to talk about things that men do that women don't like okay so let me know what you think about this video you can also add your own let's just continue this conversation down below i am i'm always open to to learn other things so Please, no knowledge is a waste. So, please, guys, just let's continue this conversation um, down below. And, um, yeah, these are the few things I pick. If I still remember anyone, I might still do a part two of this video. Okay, let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. And feel free to suggest video. You might always, you might also want to see my channel. I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. If you have watched up until this point, thank you so much for sticking around. And um, to all my OGs, I greet you all. To all my members, thank you so much for joining my member. I'm sure most of you know that we have the membership button on now. So feel free to click on the membership and join my member. Okay, if it's what God have laid down in your heart feel free to join my member so that the community will be growing thank you so much for watching and like i used to say remain in god and god bless you chapter 3